in today's vlog i'm going to just take you guys along with me throughout the easter period Almost has started hurting me. gorgeous people good morning and welcome to another vlog now in today's vlog i'm going to just take you guys along with me throughout the easter period today is good friday 2018 29th i believe and um, it's currently like maybe 8 a.m i'm so happy it's a public holiday i have done my workout um devotion all those basic things now i do not just wake up and I just thought, let me vlog this for the Easter period. Is that not cool? Yeah, so that's what we're doing, guys. Um, yeah, uh, if you're new here, my name is Cheta and I create content in Abuja, Nigeria. You are welcome. Please don't make this your last. Join the community by clicking the subscribe button and liking this video because I promise you, you will enjoy it. The energy here is so cool, okay? So yeah, guys, um, the first thing I want to do this morning is recently, I don't know, please share in the comment section below, but Nepa has been nepa in like, the light has been unstable. They will just sometimes take light in like, like noon until midnight or 1 a.m. So it's been very, very irritating. Like you can't even be productive if you really want to do stuff sometimes, even though we have an inverter, but sometimes you need the light for like stuff. Like I wanted, like I used to like to air fry stuff and all of that basically. I've not been able to do that. I was just like, eat what I see. But this morning I told myself that this early morning I will start with air frying. So I just air fried some plantains now and I want to air fry samosa so let's do that together i'm in the kitchen now this is the backyard actually i'm headed almost at the kitchen so let's just do it before they will carry this their life guys i'm done talking so much let's get to it Hey guys so it's almost like 12 noon and i want to do my hair now like i told you guys oh i'm not told you guys but i want to do my hair now i'm doing it at the balcony so let's go do it i personally don't like to braid my hair so anything that is as quick as possible that's what i'm for so you guys should come and see what are we doing okay so we started out with loosening my hair and the undergrowth on my hair right now is so crazy so i opted to relax my hair and i used the mega growth hair relaxer mixed it up um, as usual and then she started rubbing it into my hair um this was she came to my house i don't know if i already mentioned it but she's been my loyal hair stylist for a while now she just makes life convenient for me see her son running around so it's also convenient for her child as well she comes to my house and just does my hair and 
it's easy for me because me i don't like going to the market or public places to do my hair so yeah that's it sha um, i started hurting me because i don't like relaxers so and then because of this hot weather and the sweat my god so we washed off and then dried the hair you guys i don't know i don't know if i have a love hate relationship with these hand dryers they can be very very harsh sometimes but yeah i was feeling my hair sha look at how gorgeous and beautiful and luscious my hair is so we grabbed this lush hair attachment and guys this thing is five thousand naira now what we used to buy for like two thousand something or one thousand something a few while back anyways i was also doing my pedicure so i soaked my leg while she started braiding and guys braiding is always a nightmare for me that's why you guys would never like would rarely see me on braids it is weeks that are just that is just the way rather because braids can be mentally physically exhausting you sit down for a long while i find it hard to carry braids for a long while like if i carry my braids for long it's like a month if i carry it short it's just like two weeks that's like my standard time but with this increased price in attachment or more attachment and braids and all of these things is not are be are no more for me shall that's all i have just established from this but yeah i power through guys the hair seemed like it was not going to finish but yeah after a few hours it finished and i love the end results let me know what you think i liked it i loved it it was just okay i wanted something simple i mean the heat is too hot for anything complex but yeah she moved to my legs like i said i wanted to do a pedicure she scrubbed 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 and when she was done she started doing the new polishing and yeah i think that was it for the whole pedicure experience hey guys good afternoon because it's afternoon right now so yeah i started today quite slow i woke up quite late and yeah guys you guys should let me know do you like my hair i love it i wanted something really basic simple but cute yeah and i love it i hope you do too but yeah guys i just finished my workout as you guys can see i did a bit of just strength training and now my goal for today so i have Two major things to accomplish today i want to do a lot of errands but most importantly there's this easter fair that is happening um in old parade ground i believe and it's a priceless easter fair it's been buzzing on social media i have been to priceless fair before and i know one thing i know is that these things are always overrated i even bought a hair that i absolutely love but i know i am I'm convinced that these things are overrated anyways i want to go there because i want to see if i can find some things especially a clothes because my birthday is coming up and I want to plan a shoot, a photo shoot for it. So I want to go there and see if I can find the clothes. And the second most important thing is I want to go grocery shopping to the market. So tomorrow is Easter Sunday. And of course, I want to cook a few dishes. I have Asun in mind to make. I have um, Nkwobi to make in my mind. Um, I also want to buy things for salad. My mom is doing rice, so I'm just going to focus on the salad. But for the most part, that's it. I want to go to the market and see how quick I can shop then rush over there then i still have a few errands to run here and there if i can carry you guys along of course i will but i don't want to ramble too much guys like i said it's already already noon past noon i woke up really late and i did my workout really late but now i am ready to head out so let's get to it guys <laughs> Who the 500 make I see? Yo, da. Stand well. You don't finish. <laughs> Mama, you going? Mama, three, three. Three, three. Mm -hmm. Okay, no way. Jago, you Jago, two, seven. Give me Jago, Biko. Mm -hmm. The sweet corn too. Baked beans one. 
nigerian markets are always just stressful but yeah guys i was just doing a few grocery shopping for the easter like i mentioned buying meat buying provisions just things generally sha you guys should just enjoy the process the way meat is expensive now eh small goat meat this thing now is about maybe say was it 9k i bought it then one leg of cow leg is like about 8k or 9k like why are things super expensive it's just so so crazy honestly please you guys should let me know is it only in abuja or is it everywhere because me i'm not understanding again no. now what how are you they say fine fine how much how much sharp sharp what come out eh i bet gas how much no no be 800 i don't put to make i go the one way right pull you guys can you see how i am sweating like you cannot come to the market and not be frustrated and still sweat at the end of the day because i don't even understand like i'm even tired of ranting see yeah i'm just sick of nigeria but yeah i'm done buying what i want to buy even though it was hectic and everything prices as usual went up so now it's like almost five and i want to see if i can quickly meet up with that fair hopefully i do meet up with something i want to believe they close by six around six ish so i want to head down there quickly it's not so far and see what i can meet up with within the next one hour like i said i'm just going there because i want to see if i can find maybe like clothes or things basically uh yeah guys let me know around too much let's just head straight to that place so guys i got here and first of all i would say the parking situation was decent yes but i came on day two in the evening really late because you guys saw how my shadow was and the whole of abuja came out i mean i love the turn up um everybody was around there were a lot of vendors it was really intense and i started window shopping like i mentioned there were like a lot of vendors selling so many things and one trick i'll tell people is if you're going for trade fairs make sure you just know the things that are up on sale so that you take advantage of them not just buying what you see there because a lot of these things are not on sale but a few of them actually are um first of all i went to priceless's hair stands and guys hey any hair that i touch i'll just be seeing like plenty money this one now i i, I sort of liked it and it was about 200 and something k ha when i saw it i was like hey i better go i don't get power for expensive hair right now let me just come and do other things i like this one kind of in a way and it was also sort of i think 18 90 i'll be 130 but anyways guys i saw this afang uyo spot and i wanted something nice like an afang soup sha so i went there and i ordered she was selling at 5k for a plate of just soup with a few things in the meat and the soup was actually tasty I did enjoy it then i saw someone sell making puff puff and a few pastries i just wanted puff puff too so i bought that next i went to this perfume store guys they were selling at wholesale price so basically these people are i think producers of perfumes um body mist they are called story of love cosmetics and they actually distribute to people in abuja i've bought like a few of their sprays and it's really nice like their fragrance so i bought a lot of things and then i saw this our social media clown that is always talking about i shall wear this i shall wear that <laughs> Come on, guys i don't tire all i bought a few things sha like um perfumes food actually i bought a fang i bought puff puff i bought zobo then i bought perfume and body spray body mist actually so i wanted to buy clothes but i didn't see what i wanted but more <laughs> there are some people that are even so self that ah, when they look on social media like ah, God, like there's only the I saw you need to see her BBL. Jesus, it was so bad. Hi. Oh yeah, guys. 
I'm heading home now. I might still meal prep today. If I do, I'll definitely do that um, with you guys, of course. But if not, see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I'm tired. So guys, I was very tired and I really wanted to just go to bed when I got home. But I knew if I did not meal prep tonight, as I was solo cooking the next day, I was going to struggle. So I first of all made the cooked down the cow leg for the unkwabi tomorrow and just set it in the fridge so that tomorrow morning I'll just get straight to the unkwabi making. Then I started with the goat meat. I brought out my goat meat and just seasoned it properly and cooked it. Uh, my goal is to make as soon so my plan was to just prep the entire meat and air fry it because I wanted to use an air fryer. I didn't want to actually fry it with oil. So my plan was to air fry it and I knew my air fryer can't take all of them in one batch so I decided to just batch it in different batches that night basically so i just cooked it properly till it was softened up then um i cut it into bite sizes and put it in the air fryer to just roast up and i did that for the several batches that was practically what i did for the goat's meat after that i went to bed till the next day then we continued cooking So it's Easter morning and I made as soon, like I said, I had already prepped everything from the night before. So today was just cooking directly. And guys, all of these recipes will be up on my shorts or my social media pages. So if you are not following me, you better do yourself service and go and follow me. As soon as I was done with the Asun, I moved to Unkwabi and did that quickly. And then I started with salad. Guys, there was a lot to chop cabbage and co and co and co so i started out with the cabbage cut the cabbage and grated my carrots before we started the assembling everything together basically So guys, this is all we'll be using. We're using white onions, sweet corn, green peas, eggs, sardine, um, baked beans, purple and um, green cabbage and carrots. And then, like I said, we just started assembling. And guys, see this this salad is the best salad you'd ever have. Just follow this and you'll love it. Just mix it with any salad dressing and mayonnaise when you're done. And you have an amazing enjoyable experience with it hey guys and happy easter guys i've had a very very stressful morning it's already known self right it's already 12 yeah guys so usually me and my sister tag teams like when it comes to cooking on easter or christmas period but she traveled so i'm the only one and i struggled actually because cooking and filming huh, guys you guys don't want to know but yeah i made salad i made asun i made uh unkobi, and i was thinking i was going to finish like 10 or max 11 to go to church but it's already 12 and i don't know if i'll still meet up with church but i want to see if i can just rush to go and shower and dash out because my church is not far from my house sha. so just go to church and see if i can meet up with anything if not i'll just like do the whole service online but yeah that's basically it, guys i'm rushing out and let's get to it <laughs> 
Um, so guys, immediately I finished having my bath so that I can wear my clothes and start running to church. My family members came back, meaning that church has closed. So yeah, I couldn't make it. So I just decided to wear my face mask and just relax, basically. I'm sweating because I went downstairs to keep something in my car. But yeah, guys, I'm just going to lounge and relax for the rest of the day. My mom also gave me pepper soup. For some reason here, whenever I cook, I can't eat what I cooked. Yeah, my mom gave me pepper soup. And that's what I feel like eating now. The food I cooked, the asun I made, and uh, nkobi I made, I don't feel like eating it, which is always the way it is. Sha. But yeah, guys, I'm just going to lounge. My uncle and his family, they are coming later in the evening. So I'll just chill out for the rest of today. I don't think I'm going anywhere. I don't plan to do anything much. On celebration days, I just like to chill out and just sit at home, relax, you know, just enjoy myself. But yeah, let me take out my go. Let me enjoy my pepper soup. Mm. And just press my phone. After having the pepper soup, I was still hungry and guys, the only thing that I wanted to eat was curry and granite on who is that day. You can imagine. Anyways, my uncle and his kids came around and we played, had fun, chilled out because I told you I was home alone. My sister traveled and left me. And yeah, guys, that's it. I called it a day. Hey guys, so it's Easter Monday and guys, I've just been filming and editing videos and I've not really done so much. If you see, I'm on my mic, so I just finished filming. A video clip but yeah um yeah guys i'll just end this video here i really wanted to go out today but the weather is quite cool i, I wanted to go swim because it's been really hot but the weather was quite cool today so i just said ah there was no point so i just sat at home i uh, edited videos slept woke up filmed video or videos and that's what i've been up to guys so yeah that's basically it i'll end this vlog here thank you guys so much for watching if you love this video you know what to do now a massive thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not and please follow me on my socials because you're missing out on there and yeah thank you guys again and i'll see you in my next video bye